Hi, students of room 27. This is Mrs. Anderson. Thanks for watching my video. Um, so today we saw a video on Pompeii. I hope you enjoyed that. And so um, in this video, I want to tell you about the three different kinds of volcanoes. Um, one of the things we need to learn in second grade is about different kinds of landforms and different kinds of land shapes. And so volcanoes are one of those types of landforms. And so I want to teach you about volcanoes. And I want you to know that there's three different kinds of volcanoes. We have the cinder cone, we have the shield volcano, and we have a composite volcano. Okay, so we have the cinder, the shield, and the composite. All right, so let me... So the first one we have is called the cinder cone. The cinder cone. If you look at the shape of a cinder cone, it's very steep, and then it has a large crater up in the top. A crater is a hole. So the cinder cone ha is a small volcano. It has very steep sides. And it has a crater at the top. And the interesting thing about a cinder cone is that it's made of loose, grainy pieces of volcanic rock and ash. That's why it's called a cinder cone, because cinder means ash, an ash material. Okay? And also, another good thing about a cinder cone is that it has almost no lava. There's very little lava in a cinder cone. Okay, so that's about the cinder cone. Next we have the shield volcano. Shield volcano. If you look at the shape of a shield volcano, it reminds me of like a warrior's shield, like what the old time men used to protect themselves in the front, like when they would hold their shield in front of them. So a shield volcano is very large and very wide it's large and wide, Oops. and it has low slopes, which means it's not steep. It's the opposite of steep. It's more like a little hill, and there's a large crater at the top, usually, of these kinds of volcanoes. And there is a lot of lava in a shield volcano. There's often lots of hardened lava. Sometimes when you see a shield volcano, you'll notice kind of um, rivulets of or rivers of um, lava that kind of came down and hardened there a long, long time ago, and you can still see them there today. But the good news about a shield volcano is that when lava does come out, it just kind of oozes. It doesn't blow out the top. It just kind of oozes down the sides like this. Okay, and it just kind of makes a slow flow. And um, uh, an example of this kind of volcano is the Hawaiian Islands. Hawaii and the little islands that make up Hawaii are almost all, oops, sorry, are almost all um, sh made up of shield volcanoes. So that's pretty cool. Okay. The next kind of volcano, or the third type, is called composite volcano. And if you look at the shape of a composite volcano, it is kind of steep. We would say it's fairly steep. It has fairly steep sides. But composite volcanoes are very, very, very large. They're very big volcanoes. Okay, and they're made, the reason why they're called composite is because they're made up of different things. They're composed of different things. So they're made of layers, actually. They're made of layers of solid lava flows and rock. So if you were to look inside this volcano, it would have the tube that takes the lava out, but then it would have all this hardened rock and um, lava inside of it kind of in layers and what's interesting about a composite volcano is that when it does blow it will blow out the top maybe it may blow to the side wherever is the weakest part of the mountain once that pressure builds up inside of the volcano it'll find the weakest part of the mountain and blow up there 
okay? These are also the most dangerous. They're the most dangerous kinds because of how the pressure builds up inside and blows. And an example of this would be Mount St. Helens, which is in the state of Oregon. And it blew up in the 1980s. Some of your parents may remember that, or your grandparents. All right. So let's review. We have the three different types of volcanoes that I just taught you about. First was the cinder cone. Remember its shape is like this. It's very steep. It's very small. And there's not much lava. Whoops. Hardly any lava. Okay. And then we have the shield volcano, which is shaped like a warrior shield. It's not steep. And they're very wide. And the lava oozes. It oozes out the top. And then we have the composite, which is very big and pretty steep, but not as steep as the cinder. And it, um, it's made of layers, and it's the most dangerous. Okay, so after learning about the three different kinds of volcanoes, I'm wondering if you now can tell me what kind of volcano do you think Mount Vesuvius was? What kind of volcano do you think it was that erupted at Pompeii? Was it the cinder? Was it the shield? Or was it a composite volcano? Okay, so write that down. And then I want you also to think about how do you think the story of Pompeii would be different if Mount Vesuvius was a shield volcano? If it was a shield volcano like this, how do you think the story would end up being different? Okay, so think about those things. You can review the video again, and I will see you tomorrow, and I can't wait to talk to you about what you saw and what you learned.